Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to 12 Volt News. Ooh, who's excited? Who's excited? <sighs> Are you excited? I'm excited, man. I'm excited, this too. This going to be awesome. But before we get to the news, as always, the weather. Yes. Uh, Ooh, what's, what's, was what's the weather out there the, today? Fernando? The weather today is 63, beautiful clear water. The high is going to be 72. You know, it was funny because, you know, the beginning of the week, it was cold for us. Uh -huh. Not not like this cold because y'all just insanity there. Yeah, those um, 13. Oof. <laughs> you win. You win. Uh, <laughs> um, and so, you know, I started out the week wearing a hoodie, running. Yeah. And then the next time I was wearing, the day after I was wearing a jacket, just a light windbreaker. Yeah, yeah. And then. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus. And you drive intentionally there, but it pays the bills. So I get it. Yeah. Uh, and so then last night, of course, it was 70. So I was wearing, you know, just my normal shirt and mm -hmm. go to town with that. So it was like, it went from really cold to kind of cold to, yeah, we give up. Oh, wow. That is insane. Look at that. You can walk across Detroit River. Oh, dude. There you go. Got to get into Canada, get free health care. <laughs> or you got to get out of Canada because, like, COVID and they won't let you out of the country. So, yeah. Grab some skates and go. When I, when I was a kid, we we go to Detroit to watch the fireworks. And we, we go to the Canadian side to watch the American fireworks. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why, but apparently a lot of people did that. We'd hang out What's on the that, train tracks. Somebody got, like, hit by a train or something, yeah. I guess. I don't know. We fell asleep. Brandon. Good morning from Brandon, Florida. Living in the apartment life while the house gets built. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. I that's, like it. That, that's that's the dream. Checking in. Six with a high of 21. No. Mm. Negative, seven, negative seven. Central month. God Why bless we start with the negativity? Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just passing through unintentionally. Yeah, of course. Uh, Good Cape morning, Coral. guys. Good Beautiful morning. weather as always. Uh, seven, oh, eleven, eleven, and and our Your home state. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michigan, you can have it. Michigan, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Went from one peninsula to the oh, other. Oh my gosh! Still do. Yeah. Negative three. Negative three and sunny in Vermont. You remember where Vermont, Vermont was, right? Vermont? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we literally just talked about all those. You know, the whole... When we were, when we were talking about go fast, guys. Yes, yes. And, and okay. Like, we're, we're, <clears throat> we're, 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 <laughs> That's the Vermont. Okay. okay. <laughs> we had a, geogra a geography lesson for the United States. Uh, yesterday. A couple, couple weeks ago. No, uh, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, seems like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> uh don't start with a negative. Exactly. Good call. Oh, negative 50. <laughs> <laughs> you keep going, huh? That's the checking account. We'll see because he's got, he's got a checking and a savings and like, you know. It's, it it you, takes like it three take or four days to until move I move. Check and save. Yeah, That's for sure. That was hilarious. Um, it is hilarious. Uh, in case you guys have never heard that one, it uh, who is it? Kevin, it's Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart stand yeah. up. Uh, and I have a Kevin Hart, man. Yeah, they they run it all of Disney World, all this Disneyland, Northern Massachusetts. Checking in. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, a lot of negativity going on here. Negative three of them. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm with you, Ron. It, it must be a lot of cold winters, maybe. You know, hey, baby. Let's cuddle and get warm. Ah, uh, uh, paints a pretty picture. 14 here. PA. Make a video of the craziest customer. No, we try to forget those. I'm not going to lie. You just, you just got to forget those. I, I think at some point we tried to bring some customers in the pictures, but that was not, no. No, it, it just, it it just didn't work. No. It, it, it very <clears throat> seldom does. All right. right. Well, let's, yeah. Let's find um, the right page here. Ah, there it is. Let's let's get this let's get this show yeah. on the road. Uh, first story. Oh, get excited! SEMA news. Ah, uh, SEMA's news shortage predictions. <laughs> Sorry, uh, news confused me. Um, 
So SEMA, for those of you guys who don't know, stands for Special Equipment Marketing Association. Basically, what we like to call it is the end of the year, the last show. We went this year is in Vegas. We had a great time. Uh, but they're predicting that uh, SEMA's research also found that sales will return to pre-pandemic levels by next year, which means sales are going to go down. Yeah. They're, they're predicting that uh, within the next two quarters – that the flow of goods, the transit time, not the availability, but yeah. transit time, which is now up to if you order something overseas uh, to your door, the current wait time is uh, it's somewhere between 111 and 113 days. OK, think about that for a minute. So if you're ordering something f from a manufacturer in another country to come to your door over boat, not plane. Plane gets there a lot faster and costs no, way more, substantially more <laughs> per pound. Um, you're you're looking at 111 to 113 days. That is insane. All right, that's that's like three three plus months. Yeah, that's a quarter. That's that's ridiculous how much time it takes. Uh, but anyway, SEMA is predicting that like, hey, in two two quarters, man, we'll we'll be we'll back be to back in business, almost you know, ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, not everyone agrees with that assessment, to say the least. Most manufacturers are chiming in going, I don't think so. Yeah. Like, we're not seeing it there, boss. Uh, way, way to fake news this up. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I mean, any, anything is possible. And is, if we're living in a fantasy world, which I think most of us are at this point. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of fantasy worlds, <sighs> sad times for General Motors, people. First, it was the seat heaters to go. Now it is backup and back. Now it is backup sensors and f collision sensors are being removed from certain vehicles because they just don't have the chips. Well, they, no, they don't have the chips. I mean, Doritos has tons of chips. I mean, so I have plenty of chips. You if you guys, chips. like GM, if you want to come over here, I got plenty. You can Ta grab them. Tackies. We got the yeah. tackies today. The tackies, ah, dude. I, I just. I got salsa. <laughs> so the the purpose of this story is not to make everyone feel bad for gm it's make everyone feel good for the independent retailer mm -hmm. that still has backup sensors and collision warnings and seat heaters and cameras and all those things yeah. available to them so that you'll be able to spend way more money to add aftermarket product to your yeah. vehicle so yay yeah. uh, honestly if i was looking to buy a new car right now i would keep the car i had for at least in the you know, next two years unless you absolutely have to have a new car and or you're willing to wait the six months to order the car you would like and get all the things that you need. It's yeah. not like they're not available. Mm -hmm. It's just for general inventory, you're just not going to have those features sitting on the lot uh, because right now it is just a frenzy of everyone has to have new cars. Uh, car New car prices are up about 11%. Yeah. And used car prices up are about 30%. Like, yeah, 31%. So, yeah. I mean, it's not the time to buy a car. It's the time to keep your car and have an upgraded stereo. Plan. That's it. That, that, that's exactly. Uh, you know, they say um, the growth on car stereo, that's, that's the reason why. Because people want to keep their cars. They don't want to buy new cars. They don't want to buy used cars. They just want to upgrade their cars. So, <laughs> uh did you cover Ford getting in the microchip manufacturing? No, I didn't. I didn't see that story. See, you're supposed to send us these things. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If you have a story that you think we might want to cover, you can email us at carstereotalk at yahoo.com. That is carstereotalk at yahoo.com. And if it's an awesome story like that one probably is, then we will report on it. Uh, the one thing that I would say, is that, that since you mentioned Ford, and mm -hmm. I, I thought this was interesting, it seems to be GM that is getting all the bad press. Yeah. Like Ford, I know I'm sure comes out and says stuff, uh, but I just, it doesn't fall into my scope of like, here it is. Well, um, I mean, at least they've been honest, you know? Yeah. They just like, hey, listen, yeah. we not, we don't have the, these, uh, these features. So, so we're going to give you a one year free, Series XM. Uh, Series XM. There you go. At $99. That's it. it's, it's a $99 value right now, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, used truck prices are absolutely nuts. It's 100% true. Like, we've had a couple guys. I've gone out and quoted jobs in the last two weeks for guys that have, like, bought 
like they pull up in these trucks and you're like, Jesus Christ, that's a ninety thousand dollar truck. What the hell? And, oh, dude, they gave me thirty grand for my truck. It literally cost. I've driven it for eight years and it cost me ten thousand dollars to drive. How could I not? And I'm like, what? All right. So now that you talk about that, um, my um, my aunt, Gabby's aunt, they uh, trade their car, uh, Lincoln, mm -hmm. and uh, they give them a full price, full price what they pay for it, and they drive for a year. So basically, they have yeah, a car yeah, for huh. a year. Yeah, it didn't cost them anything. Didn't cost anything. So they just get the whole thing back. See, I, like, I feel, I feel like that's a, <clears throat> I feel like that's a game that these manufacturers play with your head. Like, to me, we all know you can't get something for nothing. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like they make you think you are. And then, right. I mean, and I, I feel that the catch is they always want to sell you another car, right? <laughs> uh, I've been down this road before. 2016 Yukon transmission just blew itself apart. Thanks, GM. We had a, uh, the Ford Explorer. Mm -hmm. uh, Dora. Dora. Dora, man. Uh, we were driving up I-4, headed to Disney. Transmission dropped out on I-4, sat on the side of the road for three and a half hours waiting for the tow truck. Um, Transmission yeah. say, I'm tired. I'm stay here. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, damn it. Uh, that's a whole other story. Anyway, speaking of stories, back to it. Sound Quality Competition Group gains U.S. traction. Now, mm -hmm. this, is, this is cool because... Do this. Uh, for those of you that uh, follow the show, good friends of ours and yours, uh, Jeff Smith mm -hmm. is a judge for the Emma E M M A group. He's a big advocate of them, and it starts over in Europe, as you can see, like the Muse Way and the Ground Zero. These are all brands that are way more popular overseas than they are here. It stands for uh, Although, European Mobile Media Association. Thank you. I was hoping you picked that yeah. up. Yeah. Way, to, way to grab the ball and run with it. Um, <laughs> although, was, uh, what I was going to say, we're trying very hard on the ground zero front, but uh, Museway is, is also a pretty cool brand. But that's not why we're here, and that's not what we're talking about. Um, basically, good day for them. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be, so it was brought over here by a gentleman by the name of Clifton. Mm -hmm. And Clifton is really the purpose of this story and why it's relevant. I'm happy that another sound quality competition group is up and running and will bring interest and judging and sound quality and hot ass parking lots with no music being played to the forefront again for everyone to enjoy and have fun with. However, the story that is more important is uh, Clifton, of course, was bowed out of this. They brought it over. It had to do with SQology, which has since been disbanded so that no longer exists. Uh, but they did put up a bunch of cool shows. But... For those of you that are fans of hybrid audio technologies, commonly just referred to as hybrid audio, uh, they have been sold to a group called Sounds Inc. Mm -hmm. So the, the company is no longer a standalone, hey me, look at that. Uh, they've become part of a bigger conglomerate, which is usually what happens when someone starts to get a little bit of traction. Companies that have lots of money notice it and they start gobbling these things up. And that has happened to audio uh, I'm sorry, hybrid audio. Um, good, bad, and different. It really doesn't matter. Clifton, of course, is still working there and busting his ass trying to now make it an even bigger, better product than it currently is. But for those of you that are fans and you didn't know this, um, there you go. Hybrid has moved along. And congratulations to Emma for having uh, a, a pretty awesome time. There are scheduled to be like four big shows yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd like to know when those shows are, you, oh, hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Now that oh, you have C Outlook. Hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's do this right. Uh, you can go and, and read more about this story and the others that we're reporting on. Thank you to C E Outlook. Uh, we scour the internet, basically go to their webpage, and Amy does a really nice job of putting together stories that we can sift through and bring to you that we feel is relevant to you guys. However, if you'd like to know more, dig deep, or not listen to what we say uh -huh. and listen to what she wrote, which is sometimes different. Yeah. Sometimes different. Yeah. Uh, you can head over into the description for this video currently right now, and there are links to all the stories that we've covered. Uh, thank you to CE Outlook for, you know, giving us the news to actually do the show. So, bonus. Thank now, you. moving on to the rest of the, the news, as it were. Mm -hmm. Let's go to turn that off. And we'll turn this on. 
Earthquake introduces... No, really? EQ with streaming audio. So a couple things caught me when I when I read this. Now keep in mind, uh, for those of you that are interested in the EQ, it's available. It's like six bands of fun and excitement. But there, there's more of a humor to this that I think than that that I wanted to cover. First off, they say streaming audio. Mm -hmm. Okay, streaming audio is a sexy way of saying Bluetooth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's I, I feel it's something that they've stolen from the high res audio guys. Yeah, yeah, Jay Steger. Yep, we knew. That's I was excited to report this story because I knew you'd be the only one that that knew what we were talking about. Um, but yeah, hybrid audio. Um, anyways, I, I feel it's something they've stolen from the high res guys because they yeah. don't call it Bluetooth, they call it you know Stream. high res streaming yeah. audio. Yeah. And then you're like, oh Jesus, that sounds so special. So <laughs> Earthquake, you know, trying to make something out of nothing, yeah, has said, you know, we have streaming audio. Uh, which is we have some Bluetooth. They don't tell you what kind of Bluetooth it is. They don't tell you how good it is. Yeah. But so it still has an aux jack on the front. Um, it's still just a basic EQ. That probably no offense to them. Oh, it's a four band. Uh, probably still has noise. Yeah. And uh, you know, not not the funnest thing in the world. But you you have a list of specs there. So we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, tell yeah. you the specs because some of you are going to be interested in that. Go for it. So it has uh, four. Adjustable bands, uh, negative 12 dB to plus 12 dB, four input source, RCA aux, mini jack, Bluetooth, three stereo RCA outputs from rear sub, of course, nine volts RMS output, wow. input gain control, media player ready, uh, fully retractable controls. That is, you can push, yeah, the push them. Yeah. Uh, fully retractable controls. Yeah, that's what I say. Volume <laughs> level control, subwoofer <laughs> level control, subwoofer frequency control. Wow, a lot of control. Front panel main aux control, front panel Bluetooth on and off control, fader action control, blue background LED. I mean, it okay, has... good. Let's, let's, that's enough, please. And a part. And I'm not selling it. <laughs> yeah, by no means is this a recommendation. No. To me, this was just like finally. Finally, uh -huh. these peripherals like this are being just built into the things. Uh -huh. um, you know, in the past, you know, you've been able to add dongles, Bluetooth dongles to some devices, uh -huh. which I think is great. And I'm fine with a Bluetooth dongle if that reduces noise. But the fact that like a lot of these men, like first, I don't, I don't like everyone has been like, oh, let's do some Bluetooth. And it's yeah. like Bluetooth doesn't suck as bad as it did five mm -hmm. years ago. It's actually a pretty usable thing. It's I mean, getting better. Yeah. You know, we have the, the, the Moscone Bluetooth dongle that fucking 96K, mm -hmm. you know, that's basically high res. Um, the only thing is, like, right here in the specifications, I don't see what type of Bluetooth they use. No, and they're not going to because I don't there see again, it. this this is earthquake. Let's just slow it down. Um, I think okay. The the purpose of this is what we usually see is that these there, there's different tier of manufacturing, mm -hmm. and, and definitely this earthquake is no longer the '90s company that it is. Uh, it's I think it's Mask Sonic. I don't know who owns it, but um, so we we we're gonna see this in these, and then as time goes on it'll start to trickle up into you know other feature yeah, sets that yeah. make more sense um i just think it's funny that this late in the game these guys are figuring out they need to add bluetooth to these things i mean it's a lot of people they love spl and and these things are not getting they're not going well, anywhere yeah I, I guess what we need is um can you stack four of them to be honest with and, you and then add i would make to it. i would make three Oh, yeah. I yeah. would make a three, like, oh, double yeah. dean. No, no, screw it. Double, three, yeah. Four, double saying. dean. Yeah, four. four. You can fit four. Exactly. Um, with, with, like, 12 channels of output. Oh, yeah. Because yes. that's, dude, literally, if you walk around the SPL showgrounds, all that's you see is guys that have, like, three, four, and five of these things yeah. stacked on top of one another with yeah. a singleton radio at the top. Like, why somebody hasn't made that? I would make, and, and I would not call them front readers. I would call tweeters, uh, horns. So they can get more excited. I think that would be cool. I, I uh, think you've yeah. tapped into something, Fernando, that we need to call our engineer later today. Uh, and, we uh, going to. Oof. We we need to make the uh, quad quad quads, EQ quad stack EQ. Yeah, that would be pretty cool with Bluetooth. But ours will have high res. All right. 
done. See you guys later. <laughs> That's uh, exactly it, Dylan. Speaking of Bluetooth, oh my God, yeah, yeah. yet another moment where somebody smacked the, the palm the top there, did this. <laughs> uh, new Series X up in car receivers. Uh, this is made to make the add-on of Sirius XM so much easier. The question I had, of course, is how many people are still adding Sirius XM to their cars? I mean, does not every car come with Sirius XM? I mean, you can literally stream it to your phone from Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why anybody would want. Okay, I know why, but I, I it's like, why, why, why would I would I don't know. I, for every question I ask, I know there's an answer to it, and I, I totally get it. But it, all right, this is them at least finally waking up and trying to come out with a Sirius XM module that doesn't suck a hundred percent. You still have to mount an antenna to the outside of the car. However, what they've changed is now it plugs into the cigarette lighter still, uh, but mm -hmm. the cigarette lighter adapter has more functionality to it. So now it has to be plugged in the cigarette cigarette lighter, lighter adapter. You can't bury it somewhere in the dash apparently because uh that sucks but the bluetooth that's right bluetooth transmitter is now built into the cigarette lighter adapter mm -hmm. uh, so they can be closer to the radio and the idea is there's no longer an aux output so or an fm modulator needed which to me it's like wow guys you finally figured that one out yeah uh trying to put one of these in a car is like trying to put an octopus in for so, it, it, that was almost running a five channel amplifier it, in it there. was it just never made any sense it's like you have the antenna that's got to go out you yeah. have the aux or fm modulator that's got to go out and then you have the power that had to go out it's like why mm -hmm. why i mean this this is supposed to be something simple and if someone did it themselves it was like a mexican phone pole oh yes that's exactly and if you don't know just google it mexican phone pole and you'll yeah. totally understand it's not yeah. a slam on them it's just literally they make they yeah. have a very attractive we're trying phone to uh we're trying to get uh you know very colorful <laughs> 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 anyways so the really nice thing about this is now it is more cell phone ish in, yeah in that it will it comes with no dock uh they want you to go out and buy a cell phone dock so that you can like stick it to like a skosh dock or something like that so you can mount it wherever you want not just like stick it to the air vent or suction cup it to the window um so you have a variety of mounts that you can get for it uh it will Bluetooth into the factory radio, so now you can have your factory radio search for it, and it'll play over Bluetooth audio, which I, to me is like, oh, my gosh. So now not only do we have the crappiest sounding Sirius XM on the face of the earth, mm -hmm. we are going to play it through the crappiest input available to us on the factory radio. So basically, this is 100%. I just want content. I don't necessarily want it to sound good because mm -hmm. it will not. I mean, if anyone has never heard Sirius XM in a car and gone – Wow, this this really sounds bad. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a Sirius XM fan, I strongly recommend doing it from your phone. It sounds so much better. I don't know why Sirius XM doesn't come out with something like a you know USB transfer media. Like you plug it into the USB, it transfers to your factory existing radio that you have. Uh, well, I, I okay. So at the end of the day, the problem is just the download. Because it's yeah, but even it's though it's the signal from the right, and it's getting all the signals, so the bandwidth is so compressed. Exactly. Um, ah. So hey, ah. so yes, the bandwidth is compressed beyond belief. Yeah, and they actually stagger the bandwidth depending on how important the channel is. So Ooh, they do in a st uh, stack. They do stack stagger bandwidth. power. They do stagger power, hundred um, percent. And so you know the music channels are supposed to get more bandwidth but the reality is they don't what makes it more convenient over the phone is that it's only streaming one channel at a time so mm -hmm. it, it doesn't you don't have those problems because it can just it's just like listening to any other media on your phone it's I like know. this is what's happening as long as you have good coverage but you do have to pay for you know that i i so i feel just looking at the people that we do sirius xm for they're the old guys Oh, for sure. And yeah. I'm not saying that you can't have Sirius XM and Totally Joe. We, we know that. But the guy that's interested in this is the guy that when Sirius XM came out, he was in his you know 40s and now mm -hmm. he's in his 60s yeah. or possibly 70s. And he's just he is not going to stream it to his phone. And he's I, got I, that I, lifetime account. It's just that. Oh, it's just that. The, 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 and I'm not bashing the old people. It's just, no, bashing, you know, okay. uh, old people got used to that module that you have right here. And you have to touch it. Um, 
they don't want to upgrade it. They don't want to do the subscription from their phones and everything. But your brand new car has Sirius XM built into it. You just upgrade it and done. Yeah, in the mountains, it's in and out all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just streamed from my phone the whole time. Exactly. Driving through Tennessee. I still, I still. <laughs> Wirelessly to my ZZ2 adapter. That's right. There Everyone's like, oh, your phone's going to die. Yeah. No. I drove from Florida to Tennessee. <laughs> One trip straight through streaming the maps and my music, yeah. streaming music, not pre-recorded crap. Phone was fine. Still ended up filming the first day for Boring Life of Dean and Haley. It was yeah. wonderful. Ah, good times. Also, before we go, one last thing to tell you. This is something that you guys have been asking. Pull that back up again for them. Um, um, you, you I want to grab the accessories. So there you go. Yeah, but you had the actual announcement. Mm -hmm. Pull up the announcement. I don't want. Oh, okay. Uh, right. That's what, that's what I grabbed from good. there. Yeah. All right, we'll go there. Uh, Audio Control is available soon. So they're taking pre-orders right now on the ACRU, which is the universal remote control that they make. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with this piece, it's an RCA in, and then it's an RG, RG6, RG5. Yeah, Cat5. Cat5 cable yeah. that goes between the uh, input and, I'm sorry, the base unit and the knob so that you can make it as long as you want up to 300 feet mm -hmm. so to me is this is really cool the idea was so you don't have to run uh rca front and back front and back you know you just grab one rca you put the main control in the back next to your amplifier or wherever run, exactly and run your cat fight all the way to the front outside of the car grab your base knob you control and do whatever the you nice want. thing is, is this yeah. is conformal coated, mm -hmm. which means it is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. Yeah. So it can go into some of those places that otherwise might not be the best idea. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, like also, it. grab the other thing that is now available for pre order. Now available too is going to be your. Epicenter yep. Micro. So this is also in pre-order right now. So mm -hmm. uh, if this is something you guys are waiting for, pre-order it, get it, have a good time, get ready for the boom. Yeah. <sighs> How accurate is the knob? I tell you right now, the act, the knob. We they okay. They spend a lot of time on the knob, and the knob is a perfectly linear knob. There is no whoop. It is zero straight up to max. So. The knob is probably the sexiest thing about this. Is that and that it, was a good a good question? How accurate it is? Because like like you say, yeah, most of them that they was, are not. That was one of the really sticking points for this. Is that most they they bought a ton of knobs and you know scoped them to see what they were doing and like these all suck. So you know they put a lot of effort into making sure that that attenuation is from zero to hero in a nice linear fashion that provides you better response so mm -hmm. when you're halfway it's halfway not like you know so How, and the other ones halfway is zero yeah yeah and then you go so it, it's kind of like it's kind of like a frequency chart on an rta where it's like mm -hmm. you get here and it's like here's uh it's like 20 40 80 and then you get over here and it's like <clears throat> five thousand. you know and then it just, you know, it's like, no, no, this, this is like when you're halfway up, it's half. So you guys get the idea. We don't need to belabor that. Yeah. Um, as Paul pre-order, we'll stop by to pick one up soon. Um, sure. I have no idea. I'm sure he has because mm -hmm. they, they want to sell these things and yeah. the rep has been in many times. So yeah. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, why, why would we not? Uh, why would we not? I, yeah. don't, I just want ours. I want another one. We need a package one. All right, guys. <laughs> And That's it. Good. That's the news. It is Friday. Would Hanley make a good installer or immediately fired? Immediately fired. Like, not uh, even like, really? oh, yes. Good, yeah. yeah. No. I think it's good. No. They can keep you sanity. No. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Haley's made for other things. Um, and we'll leave it at that. She's she's great at most things she does. But oh, uh, yeah, she does. Um, I, I would I would never wish this career upon any one of my children, and I only have one, so that makes yeah. it easy. But no, it was fun putting the radio in. For those of you guys who don't know, what we're talking um, about uh, real life, quick. Dina Haley. Yeah, I don't Haley think it's going to be a discount code. There no. will not be a discount code. There will. So when we talk to them, 
the problem is, is right now you can't discount anything because no. for one, just getting the product is, is cost enough. So they're, they're, they're actually pre discounting the product because it costs more to make it now than it was supposed to. to ship so it. Oh my they're gosh. discounting the product to keep it at the 249 price point. Yeah. Um, it really should be 300 bucks, but they know that's just not going to sell for that. So they're taking the hit. Um, so it sucks, but yeah, the 249 is actually a discounted code. We might have a like a, a thank you code. So if you type in like code whatever, um, then code, we'll, yeah. we'll get like recognition for it, which is fine for me. So we're working on that right now. So hopefully that'll hopefully we'll know more about that next yeah. week or so. But um, yeah, that's that. Honestly, that's the problem with electronics right now is that they're pre discounting them. Like if you knew how much this stuff was costing them and and, and what it's costing us and the, the profit there just doesn't exist. So it yeah. kind of sucks. We're all we're all busy and selling a ton of stuff, but yeah, money's kind of shitty. Uh, Fernando brought an interesting also, point. Real quick, yep. For those of you guys who don't know, the IRTA2 is available. That's right. If you'd like to be a better installer, if you'd like to electrically look at the signal coming from your speakers, your amplifier, your source unit, whatever it is, if you want to see what sound looks like electrically not with a microphone electrically which changes your game and makes you better than 90 percent of the people out there that don't even know what we're talking about if you'd like to be able to do that it's a two channel that's why it's called two and you can pick it up at dnf tool drawer that's right dnf tool drawer you can pick those up for the lower price of 249 um trust me guys if you want to be a better installer and you have an i device it is ipad i i lightning only Mm -hmm. Sorry for you, Android guys, but it's it's a long story hey, yes, we don't have just, time for because no. the news is over. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. It's Friday. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, Saturday, we'll be back live to Q&A show uh, over there on the regular Five Star Car Stereo channel mm -hmm. over on YouTube or here on YouTube. And, of course, make sure you follow us on Instagram where you get to watch Five Minutes of Five Star. And you can find us at Five Star yep. Car Stereo on Instagram where we do daily Q&As, talk about what's going on in the Bay. And otherwise, just have a gay old time. Do some unboxings. It's yeah. really fun. Uh, and if you've never seen it and you want to see it live, do it there. Of course, we always take them all and rebroadcast them on Monday for those of you guys that don't have time or don't want to watch Instagram. We understand but have a great Friday if it's yes, payday right. or if you're getting off early. Go have fun. For those of you guys up north, freezing your asses off, stay warm, stay safe, and that's it. Bye. Bye, guys.